we have breaking news. The case against Alec Baldwin may be coming to an end. A statement from the actor says charges have been dropped and the case is dismissed. That's right. Now, just to recap, you may remember Baldwin was pointing a pistol at cinematographer Helena Hutchins during a rehearsal on the film's Santa Fe set when the gun went off. She died and the director was wounded. Baldwin said the gun went off by accident and that he never pulled the trigger. Now, he had faced involuntary manslaughter charges. CBS News legal contributor Jessica Levinson joins us now. She is also a professor at Loyola Law School. Uh, Jessica, assuming the statement is true, first of all, do we know why prosecutors in New Mexico are planning to drop the manslaughter charges against Baldwin? What's changed? So I think what's changed is that there was going to be another proceeding in a few weeks. The case was progressing quickly and different prosecutors actually took over this case. And we have to basically surmise that they didn't think they could prove this beyond a reasonable doubt to a juror. I also think because different prosecutors have taken over the case, it could indicate that there's now a different theory of the case. So that this really be will be based on the armor, Jenna Gutierrez. Mm -hmm and not against Alec Baldwin. And it frankly, I think makes more sense. If it's her fault, if she's the one who engaged in criminal conduct, then it does make sense based on a theory of the case to say, well, he could have trusted her. Mm -hmm. So I think at this point, they just didn't think they could bring it to a jury. And that's a really important detail because people may have forgotten that there are people whose job it is on set to make sure the props, that was a prop, um, are safe. And Alex Baldwin's defense was, I had no idea. He even says he didn't pull the trigger, but yet the gun went off and the cinematographer died. As far as I'm aware, Jessica, um, Amara um, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed is still facing charges. Do you think it's possible those charges may be dropped? Or perhaps, as you say, there might be a new theory of the case that she is the one responsible? So either is possible. Obviously, we're not privy to the internal deliberations of the district attorney's office. But in my mind, this would indicate that I think they thought they overreached with respect to Baldwin. Hmm. Let's remember that they also had tried to add a gun enhancement, but that actually wasn't legally proper based on when the, when the law regarding that gun enhancement actually went into effect. Right. So in my mind, if you look back, it kind of looks like the attorney general maybe in the mind of her current colleagues, just overstepped. But I do think Hannah Gutierrez will still stand trial and or these charges will continue against her because, again, she's the one where on set it's her job to make sure that something tragic like this doesn't happen. Yeah, and tragic it was. Uh, Jessica, I'm wondering if, it's, if there's any significance uh, to the fact that this is happening on the same day that filming was set to resume on Rust. The reports indicate that it's pure coincidence and that there's nothing to read into it. I have a feeling it has to do more with the upcoming trial and the kind of mini trial that was going to happen in, I believe, two weeks than it does with the filming of the movie in Montana at this point. All right. All right. Major well, development. Jessica, great to have you kind of walk us through what we know right now. We appreciate that.